Hello, my name is Niall Meller from Acoustic Frontiers. Acoustic Frontiers is a DEX dealer in the United States. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the DEX calibration software to set up a DSP or digital crossover. So the first thing to do, once we have the DEX calibration software open, is to click on the configure button. We're going to create a new DEX configuration. We'll call it test speaker one. You'll see there's a couple of different options for how we can set up the crossover. A triamp, a biamp, a single amp, and then with the biamp and single amp options, we can also choose between stereo or mono subwoofers. So let's choose a biamp setup with an optional mono subwoofer. So now we have the configuration window open. A um, couple of things about this window that, that are interesting to know. Um, you'll see it's called test speaker one, which is the name we gave to the uh, configuration, profile one. Now within each profile, and there are three different profiles, it is possible to have different crossover settings. So different crossover frequencies, different crossover slopes. Um, and then it is possible very easily to swap between those from the listening position with the remote control. Um, this is really good for iterating crossovers quickly. For example, you could choose one crossover point, say 2000 Hertz between a tweeter and a mid range, and then create a second profile with a crossover point of say 2400 Hertz and switch between those two from the listening position. And in that way, it's very quick to iterate crossovers and figure out what is the best sounding one. So I'm just going to set up a two-way crossover, first for the left speaker. We're going to use a crossover filter for this loudspeaker. And you'll see that um, DEX gives you a piece of information that says we have, this is not using any digital loudspeaker calibration. This basically means that the um, frequency response correction and group delay uh, correction, phase correction, um, that's part of the uh, individual driver correction uh, isn't being used in this situation. And the reason I wanted to say that is because I wanted you to know that it is possible to set up the DEX just as a digital crossover without using its DSP uh, speaker correction. So we'll, we'll choose a crossover point uh, for the woofer and tweeter of say 2500 hertz. And you'll see there's a couple of different crossover types we can have, linear phase, uh, Linkwitz Riley, and a Butterworth. Each of these has different slopes associated with them. The, the linear phase, which we're going to choose today, goes between 48 dB per octave uh, and 300 dB, dB per octave. We'll choose 48 dB per octave. You'll see now in the uh, configuration window that the crossover frequency and slope has been recorded. We're going to repeat the same for the right speaker. Use a crossover filter, 2500 hertz, 48 dB per octave. So that literally is all you need to do to set up a crossover in the DEX. Um, remember that this is a software program, so to save that configuration to the DEX, HTTP3 or HTTP Express processes, you'll need to click on this button here, save all to DEX. The next part of today's video, I wanted to show you how to also set up a subwoofer. And this is also just as easy as setting up a crossover between a tweeter and a woofer. We will click on the subwoofer. Um, what we want to do in this case is what is use what's called a limit filter. Use limit filters, click on the limit filters tab. We want to use a low pass on the sub. Um, again, we can choose what frequency we want to use. 80 Hertz is quite a common frequency for a subwoofer crossover. Again, we have a couple of choices of uh, filter types and slopes. We're going to choose a Linkwitz Riley and the 24 dB per octave. And you'll see we have a couple of other choices here. So now we've got our subwoofer set up. The last thing we need to do is then um, add in a filter to our left and right speakers so that they're rolling off 
um, at the frequency the sub is coming in. So we'll go back to our left speaker, go to the limit filters tab, put in a high pass filter again at 80 hertz, 24 dB an octave, Linkwitz Riley, that's the same as we used on the sub. Okay. And we will do the same on the right speaker. Limit filter, high pass filter, 80 hertz. Um, some of the other things we may want to do, which I'll just quickly show you, is we may want to delay the main speaker slightly because typically the subwoofer, um, that is the frequencies reproduced by that come out later than those reproduced by the left and right speakers. So it's quite often to add a bit of delay to the left and right speaker. You go into the left speaker configuration uh, properties again. You'll see we have a uh, tab called time level and we can add some offset or delay to the left speaker. Let's say five milliseconds. Okay. And you'll see that's also been added to the window, five milliseconds delay. We'll do the same for the right speaker, five milliseconds delay. Finally, we, we may also want to add a, um, maybe we want to add some uh, gain reduction to the sub channel. So we're going to the sub channel, go to the time level tab, and we could set it at say minus 10 dB. That means that the sub signal output by the DEX is going to be 10 dB less than for the left and right speaker. We may also want to, um, on the advanced tab, swap between uh, the polarity of the sub. We can have it set to zero or 180 degrees. Um, I'm just gonna leave it at zero, but it's good to know that it's there. They've gone okay. And that's literally it. Um, so now we've set up a left and right speaker with a subwoofer. We would then save that to the decks and you would listen to the system. Um, so today in this uh, video from Acoustic Frontiers, just showing you how to use the uh, DSP digital crossover functionality in the decks. Um, and don't forget that you can very quickly set up different profiles here and compare between different crossover settings, which is very useful. And if you're interested in um, learning more about the decks or have any questions, you can find Acoustic Frontiers at www.acousticfrontiers.com. Thank you.